All right, today we're going to take a look at math counters. And the math counter is basically a way of creating a numerical variable in Source Engine. And it lets us add and subtract from a value that we can then use to do additional things. So, for example, in um, one of the Left 4 Dead levels, you had to collect gas cans in, in the mall. And so say there's nine gas cans and we want the player to collect six. We can use a math counter so every time they collect a gas can, the math counter will increment or go up by one. So they don't have to find all nine. They only have to get to six. And then once they hit six, the math counter will hit its maximum and then it can do something else. It can unlock a door or end the level or something like that. Or say there's 10 bad guys on a level and we want the player to kill six before they can leave. We can start the math counter and subtract every single time one of the bad guys gets killed. And um, so a math counter is a way of uh, reading a number and we can add and subtract from this number and reset the number and clear the number and, and change its value dynamically throughout the game and then use that to set up other situations. So what we've got here in this level is um, I've got a green light and then where each one of these white lights are is a trigger and they don't really matter I just put the white lights so I could see where the triggers are at because they're invisible but when I hit all these triggers I'll go ahead and run across all of them you'll see there that the the light at the end turned red so if we reload this map one more time it's green so now if I kind of sidestep through these when I get to the end, if I make sure I hit them all, it turns red. Okay, one more time. Let's do it from the other side. So what we have here is I've got two lights, red and a green, and I've got triggers, and every time I hit a trigger, it's um, adding to the math counter. And when I hit the fifth trigger, one, two, three, four, five, the math counter hits its maximum and switches the light for me. So this is what we're going to set up today just so you can see how to add to a math counter and then fire an output from it. Tomorrow we'll take a little bit um, more elaborate look at it by adding, add, subtracting from it and um, having it, the value of the math counter get checked by other entities. All right, so let's look at the setup for this first. So step number one, I want you to create two lights, okay? And you could make a little wall. I don't really care where they're at as long as they're visible um, from where we're going to do this demonstration. So it doesn't really matter which level you do this on. You could create a new level. You can use an existing level. Um, does not matter, all right? So we're going to use our entity tool. We're going to come over here, get a light, drop the light in. We're going to open the light. We're going to name it. All right, so let's look at my lights here. So here's my first one. I named it red light. I went to brightness, pick color. I selected red, click OK, click apply. So this light here, its name is red light, no spaces, brightness, whatever. Its color is red, that's the most important part. Under flags, I set this one to initially dark. I'm going to go to my entity tool, light. I'm going to put another light here. And this light, I'm going to name it green light. For brightness, I'm going to click on that. Pick color, choose green, click OK. Under flags, we're going to leave this unchecked because the green light is going to be on at the start of the game. Click apply, close it. So now I've got two lights here. I've got a red light and a green light. Here's the math counter. So we're going to go to our entity tool. Over here, type in math underscore counter. This guy right here. Go ahead and drop it into the game. It looks like sheep who are jumping over a fence. Does not matter where you put it in the level. Um, you know, I like to put it near the event, but it's, it's really up to you. Let's open up the math counter. So for this guy, we're going to name it. I named it light underscore counter. And then here, start disabled no. 
initial value. This is how many, like what the value of it is to start with. It's going to be zero. Minimum legal value, we'll just leave that at zero. This, um, it won't go below zero. Uh, maximum legal value, let's set that to five. Okay, there's no flags. So five is the number that this guy's looking for, the magic maximum value that it wants, five. Click apply, close. All right, so now if you were to run your game right now, green light would be on, red light would be off, math counter is zero. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up some triggers. So I'm gonna take my block tool And I want you to draw out a box. What size doesn't really matter, just you know, something that the player can walk or run through. We're gonna come over here, browse, filter by the word trigger. You should see this. And then when you click enter, you're gonna get a trigger volume. Take your selection tool, select that new volume. We're gonna come over to the two-dimensional view, right click, tie to entity, and we'll go ahead and set this to trigger once. So trigger once just means it's only gonna fire one time. Click apply. For the name, I'm just gonna call it trigger light start disabled no we don't need to do anything here nothing on the flags under the output I'll show you one that I've already configured we're gonna click add on start touch this is the name here of the entity that you want to talk to so in this case, it's the, the counter right here, my light counter. Via this input, we're gonna say add. So when I touch this on start touch, it's gonna talk to the light counter, which is this guy over here. What we wanna do to it is add. And then this fourth block here is gonna say none. So you have to manually type in the number one. There will be no drop down option. It'll just say none. So you have to type in one. So what this will do is when you touch this trigger, it's going to talk to the uh, counter, this little guy right here, and it's going to add one. This is a trigger once, so it's only going to do it one time. Click apply. And then go ahead and just duplicate that box five times. Okay, so you've got it right here. You created it. You went to add on start touch the target entity that we're looking for is the counter what would we like to do add and then the fourth block how much do we want to add one All right now I need five of them so I'm gonna shift click drag and I'm just gonna make duplicates of the same thing so that I have five of them Right. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete the second set because I've already got one set that I did for the demonstration. All right. So what's going to happen is when I walk into this trigger, it's going to add one to the counter. I touch this one, adds one to the counter. And again, and again, and again. So once I hit all five of these, something's going to happen. So let's go back to the math counter. So on the math counter, we have its maximum legal value set to five. We have five triggers. So when I hit all five triggers, one, two, three, four, five, this thing is gonna hit its maximum value. We're gonna go to output. We're gonna click add, on hit max. The target entity is gonna be the green light. And we're gonna turn it off. Okay, so what we're doing here is this green light is going to turn off and then we're going to click add again we're going to select output on hit max the target entity is the red light this one here via this input turn on 
click apply. Right. So let's look at what we, we've done here. We have five triggers. When I hit a trigger, it adds one to the math counter. The math counter has a maximum value of five. When it reaches five, it's going to fire two outputs. It's going to turn off the green light. It's going to turn on the red light. All right. Let's go ahead and run this again and see what it looks like. All right. Green light's on. That math counter's sitting over here somewhere. These lights, I just put them here so I could see where the triggers were at. So there's trigger number one, nothing happens. Two, three, four, and five is somewhere around here. I missed one, or there it is, I hit, missed one of them. Okay, so once I hit all the targets or the triggers, that light will turn red. Right. And like I said, the reason I put these lights here is because without being able to see the target, sometimes it's hard and I end up missing them. I missed one again. They're in here somewhere. It's that first one I keep missing. All right. So that is your math counter. So tomorrow we're going to look at how to add and subtract and have other objects look at the math counter, not just the math counter firing off by itself, but the math counter can also just keep track or it can keep count. And um, you can have like doors and things like that check the math counter to see what its current value is. So the math counter doesn't have to do all the work, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. So today we're gonna set up this example on your map and save it and in the instructions I'll tell you how to turn it in.